when we say prodigy baby and do we really want our babies to be a prodigy so let's think about it so einstein once said that if you judge a fish by its ability to fly you would leave the fish feeling stupid all its life right isn't it now every baby is born with a lot of confidence a huge tremendous learning capacity and unlimited abilities and we have repeated it again and again right every baby has potential which is more than any other person who has ever lived on planet earth they can be a great sports person they can be a great musician a great actor uh, they could really be an amazing scientist they could be an artist anything that they really want right and better than any other person who has lived in the entire history of planet earth however what happens is that it's as a society as parents when we start forcing our babies to do things in a certain manner to do things uh, what we want our babies to do it sort of shatters their confidence it makes them believe that they are not they cannot they don't have the ability to do things that they actually can and that is the first step that we want to avoid so what we want to do is we want our babies to have the freedom to explore a lot of different things and genuinely understand what is their interest what they like to do what is it that they are innately good at innately meaning their naturally born talent in that particular field and that is what we really want to do when we say we want our babies to be a prodigy so let me give you an example every baby every baby is born with the ability to be mobile from day 1 right so they have the ability to crawl on day 1 and there are literally videos on youtube that you can search where uh, it shows that babies are able to crawl up to a mother's um uh, belly to be able to get milk right babies have that ability but in today's world most babies start crawling at not before 7 to 8 months and why is that the reason is that in today's world what we have started doing is we have started putting uh, babies in cots we have started straddling them all sorts of things which make our lives as parents more convenient but it constrains the baby right and when we constrain the baby the baby loses the confidence that it has the power to be able to move right and very soon they when they have lost this power when they have lost the confidence that they can they don't do it until they are uh, older and maybe around 7 to 8 months of age however if we allow them that freedom if we uh, let our babies be just as nature intended them to be babies will be able to show you that they can they have the ability they have the confidence and that they can be mobile and it applies to every other field so whether it's languages whether it's the ability to be a uh, creative whether it's the ability to do math whether it's the ability to uh, to talk all sorts of things babies have an enormous amount of ability and confidence and we as parents it's our duty to be able to ignite their potential by making them discover what their true potential is So I hope this makes sense. What we say at Raising Superstars is that we don't want to force our babies to learn the twenty things that we are very passionate about as parents. What we say is that we give them hundreds of opportunities, and it's better that our babies learn seventy out of those hundred rather than twenty out of all twenty that we want them to learn. And when they start learning all of these things, all of the different kinds of things that are Uh, that are available that are possible that's when our babies discover their own true potential their own hidden talent and then they start generating interest they start generating expertise in that particular field and that's how the prodigy is awakened and that's how our babies are going to be whoever they want to be and not subscribe to what we want them to